Welcome to the Sensory Science Suite at Chagask, where food companies have access to a wide range of facilities, including a state-of-the-art sensory testing lab, as well as consumer taste panels and trained sensory panels for profiling food products. Hello, my name is Emily Crofton and I'm a research officer here at Chagas Ashtown where I manage a research programme in the area of sensory science. And as a sensory scientist, I work alongside food companies to help them understand how consumers perceive and respond to the various different sensory sensations in their products, such as its flavour, its taste, its texture or its appearance. At Chagas, food companies have access to two different types of sensory panels. We have consumer panels which provide information about how much a product is liked or which one is preferred. And these type of panels will help you determine how consumers might react to your product in the marketplace. And we also have trained sensory panels that are able to provide a greater level of detail about the sensory profile of your product. These panels can be used for a wide range of applications within the food industry. For example, they're used throughout the entire product development process to understand how the, the flavour or the texture impacts consumer liking. So here at the Sensory Science Lab at Chagask is where all of our sensory panellists come to assess food products. Our sensory facility has been designed according to ISO standards and is divided into two main sections. We have the sensory kitchen and this area is where all the different samples are prepared for assessment. On a typical testing day, this area will be full of samples and labelled with random three-digit codes so the panellists do not have any additional information about the product that they are going to be testing. The other main section of a sensory lab is the assessment area, where panellists have individual sensory booths to assess food products. Panellists test food in isolation as we don't want other panellists to potentially influence their sensory judgement of the product. The lighting within a sensory lab can be changed depending on the objective of the test. For example, we often use red lighting when testing red meat to disguise its colour when cooked, as colour has been shown to influence subsequent assessment of flavour or texture. As humans, we're naturally influenced by our surrounding environment, so sensory labs are designed to be as neutral as possible to minimise any sources of potential bias. However, the highly controlled setting of a sensory lab really doesn't reflect the, you know, the real life conditions in which people typically consume food. So at Chagas, we're using virtual reality technology to simulate more immersive or realistic settings where consumers can test food products in an environment in which that product would typically be consumed. For example, we recently studied the impact of our surrounding environment on consumers' sensory perception of chocolate and we found that overall liking and flavour of the exact same type of chocolate changed depending on the context. And this provides us with additional information about how your product uh, may perform in the marketplace. In addition to virtual reality technology, we are also using uh, biometric sensors in the form of eye tracking glasses, uh, galvanic skin response, EEG, and facial expression techniques to capture consumer information beyond just the simple liking measurements. It is estimated that somewhere in the region of 95% of human decision-making occurs at a subconscious level. So when consumers are choosing food um, in a supermarket or a retail setting, they are heavily influenced by factors that do not enter their conscious thought process. Using biometric technologies, we are able now to capture in real time consumers' physiological and behavioural reactions to food stimuli, which can be a direct indicator of a person's emotional state and can really help us understand the reasons behind their food choice. So thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video today. As I said, my name is Emily Crofton. I'm a sensory scientist working at Chagask and my contact details can be found on the Chagask website.